Alright guys, welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront. This is Zero, and I'm going to just go through the single player mode of the beta right now. This is a survival mode, it's six waves. It's not that difficult, and I think that they kind of made it accessible to everybody. They didn't want to make it too extremely difficult. They wanted a lot of people to get into this beta, have fun with it. As a shooter, it is very solid. It's a very solid shooter. I like the fact that you get to use the laser guns, the blasters, um, a lot of my Star Wars T uh, terminology is not 100% accurate, so bear with me. But the lasers are nice. You don't have to reload. It feels kind of authentic. The the shooting is good. The hits are good. I, I like how it kind of auto aims you. Um, it's it's pr it's a pretty good, solid shooter. Go ahead and watch this. Alright, so we got the first wave coming. Like I said, it's it's a it's a wave-based survival. Which there's nothing incredibly wrong with that. Um, it makes me though the shooting is so nice, the the landscape is so robust that it I crave more. Like I really want a story mode in this game, and I just don't think that I don't think you get one in this uh, in this particular game. I think it's pretty much all Oh, here they come. Did you just see those stormtroopers drop? And you can see if you if you overshoot your gun, it'll start heating up that red line at the bottom of the aim. If it overheats, it will deactivate for a short time. So I currently have some grenades. You see L1. It's going to be like two sets of uh, stormtroopers, and then I believe we have a pod come down that we have to defend slightly. Oh, here they go. And you'll have the uh, stronger stormtroopers wearing the red garb that uh, will take more hits. This guy right there. These are your traditionals. They just drop pretty quick. See, my gun looks like it's about ready to overheat. wave two done. So as you can see, a very solid shooter. Very nice graphics. And this is just the single player mode. We will um, display some multiplayer. I know a lot of people are uh, putting this up right now. And what's so? The beta's free. You might as well get into it. Have some fun with it before it's gone. You're not going to be able to play again until the game comes out in November. So get your Star Wars fix now. Alright, there is a pod. Okay, we got to go claim this pod. It's way over here. So I don't even know if we're going to Yes, and now we have the... Alright, so... The, the first thing is to get the pot. There's like two objectives, you know, you want to complete the waves. We only have one enemy in this wave. And he is already blasting at us. And the other would be to get these pods. So once you get over here, we can hold down the square button. That will claim the pod. And then a pickup will be coming for the pod. And we just have to maintain defense the of the pod, pod until that gets here. Now the next thing we have to do, because we only have the one enemy, we really don't have to stay here and defend it. Because the next thing we have to do is take out this guy, and he's going to be coming. Oh, here he is, coming around the corner as we speak. So as you can see, a lot more life on him. I do have grenades. I'm going to be using those. This is a, a bit of an odd match for me. The pods never dropped so far away I was able to pick up some some power ups as you can see there's the little lightning shield so the pod was defended we did survive that and when it comes down now you can see that I have some some freebies to pick up over here for every match that you do because it's very multiplayer ish um, you're building up your character you're leveling up collecting power ups for your cannon Go 
and put those grenades on him. You see, but the damage you take is real. It is no joke. You cannot just... Go ahead and collect that. Definitely bring out the grenade launcher when you can. That does a lot of damage. Let's see if you can get him into a spot where he can't hit you. They can pretty much walk over anything, though, so it, it won't be that long. All right, get those grenades on him. That should do it. And wave three is complete. Yes, with only six waves available at this time, it's not incredibly hard. You pretty much can run through this in about ten minutes. Like this one's supposed to have snipers. They they all come in a group. You see where they drop in. Should be able to pick them off fairly easily. Head over here. The jetpack is nice. That's that's my R1. You can you can pick your cards before you uh, load up a battle. The higher level you get, the more cards you'll open up, and then you can pick your kind of your layout. What you prefer to have? Do you want the sniper rifle? Would you rather have a blaster? Do I want the jetpack? Um, would I rather have more grenade launching abilities? Oh, here we go, sniper. You see, my shooting is not even that good, and uh, I'm still able to take these guys out pretty easily. Alright, the next wave, I believe we have... Ooh, jump troopers in this one, so that's gonna be fun. You see, you get them in a corridor, and they drop down pretty easily. Got some shields. Long distance, that blaster gun is pretty good at a variety of distances. So the shield's nice, that's kind of a cool blast them right out of the air. Alright, wave five done. We are on wave six, the last wave. Let's see if we can get to that power up there as you can see my triangle button the top card is not available but now I have it so I, I was able to charge we'll go ahead and try to claim this pod if possible there. That gun overheats puts you at a, a huge disadvantage, so definitely want to get your get your shooting on a little bit better than I have been doing. All right, got an extra life pick up. That is going to be good. Go ahead and try to claim this pod. I'm getting blasted. I need to get out of here. Okay, got out. Should be able to power up our gun now. Come on, the shooting is... Even though solid and flawless, it still can't be as bad as me. <laughs> okay, very beautiful. Took him out very nice. Go ahead and pick up this power up because we still have that guy coming at us. Those 
bombs. Nice. Alright, so go ahead and move. Let's get on the run. Oh, didn't get up. Alright, so we lost the escape pod on this. That kind of sucks. Because it's just one extra thing that you can get. And it, as you see over in the bottom, the collectibles, there are five collectibles per stage. So as you're doing your waves, you can run around and collect those. It definitely uh, would benefit you to play this as a team, cover more ground, and find those collectibles. So multiplayer, very cool. But still, though, as good as the game is, as good as the shooting is, it makes me crave a single-player story mode. Um, even if it was a shorter story mode, like Call of Duty style, you know, five or six levels, doesn't take you that long, they're pretty easy, and then you get then you get into the multiplayer, the meat of the game. I feel so much better. I, I think it really deserves to have just something simple and easy just to, to suck some people in, because as a pure multiplayer game, I'm not as interested as I would be. Even though it is beautiful. Alright, so there you go. The waves are done. All six waves. So, guys, this is Zero. If you had fun with it, please check it out. The beta is still going on. You can get into it for free. And uh, I believe it comes out on, like, November 10th. So, or November 17th. Somewhere around there. So, you got a little while to go. Um, this is Zero. And I'm out.